Joining me now is Lyndon Purnell, Commercial Director at eSpire Technology. Welcome to the programme, Lyndon. Thank you, Guy. Can we, uh, can we start by just giving us some background to eSpire Technology? Yep, so eSpire Technology is something I founded last November. Um, we set up a company that's focusing on technology solutions for the small to medium uh, enterprise. Quite an exciting time because there's some great conversation going with our clients on how we bring in technology. Predominantly software engineering solutions uh, is what we're doing today, but we're also starting to provide managed services uh, from complex infrastructure down to some essential enablement products for their uh, workforces. So yeah, very exciting time. Now, you were previously the head of infrastructure at a major enterprise customer. Can you explain a little bit and tell us about the challenges that you face there? Yeah, so you know, pre previous life, I uh, worked uh, for a couple of corporates. So when you're facing infrastructure, I think um, you know it, it is a challenge, uh, maybe similar challenges across all kind of technologies. But for infrastructure, you, you, you've got high expectations that uh, the product will always be highly available and there for your clients. So you've got that day-to-day -day challenge, making sure that any of those assets you've got within your data center are running and providing that required service. Alongside that, we've then got two big um, challenges. One is cost management. You know, technology is not cheap, you know, and prices have improved over the years, but there's more and more demand. So you've got to be very close uh, eye on your cost management, making sure you've got good value for money. And then transformation is the third and final one. How do you bring transformation in when you're actually balancing that customer service experience along with costs? So transformation needs to be done, needs to be done appropriately. And I think for me, the key is forming those relationships with the suppliers to bring in the required products. So you were looking at a cloud-first strategy. What were the, the challenges and what proved difficult in, in executing on that strategy? Okay, good question. So cloud-first, when it's appropriate, is easy. You know, you, you can spin up instances with a cloud provider very quickly. And I think for easy channels, direct customer, you can have a lot of success with uh, your traditional cloud providers. Internal development uh, requirements can work very effectively with uh, cloud providers. But when you look at cloud first for direct, sorry, business to business, that's where you start getting the challenges. You know, there's a big question mark around security. How uh, comfortable are you with your data assets sitting alongside other client bases? And then there's the management and transfer of data. We know that uh, many of the cloud providers enjoy taking in the data, but don't necessarily like uh, sending out the data. So your e egress costs can be significant. When you balance security along with costs, then also what I found in my experiences, there was not a lot of client demand asking for cloud first. So you bring those three things together and you start scratching your head and looking at different options for your hosting solution. Well, let's turn to GreenLake, if we may. What resonated well about the HPE GreenLake model? So I think for me, it gave me that alternative to cloud first, and that was what really caught my attention. When I start looking into the, uh, the offering, I think there was three things that really stood out for me. One was the ability to manage costs. You could look at other costs around your assets and actually start tailing them off to bring in the finances for GreenLake. Second piece, what I really did like was the flexibility around it. So you could pick and choose what technologies you wanted and you got the ability to flex around and start addressing the future needs as well. And then third and finally, what I liked around the GreenLake piece was the, the people package, the interaction with the HPE team, as well as the ongoing data center care. That interaction was key because that takes away a lot of that concern about is that technology going to be stood up and op operating to a high standard for a long time? And it certainly was. How do you see HPE GreenLake as part of an overall hybrid cloud agenda? So uh, for me, the, the HPE GreenLake is, is a central piece to, to the cloud um, hybrid solution. So essentially, you can bring that in, you can host locally to you, and if required, you can then venture into different cloud propositions as your business grows. So key central 
uh, and, and very, very beneficial to any organisation. Lyndon, thanks very much for joining us on the programme today. No, it has been a pleasure. Thank you, Guy. Thank <laughs> you.